Hello, this is Rich, and today I want to show you a demonstration of a product I will be releasing today for free using CryEngine EAAS. It's called CryEngine Project Manager, and what it does is it allows you to manage and package for deployment all your CryEngine product projects. CryEngine allows the ability to have many side-by-side -side projects for CryEngine, and this application allows you to manage them all and actually package and deploy them. So let me show you a little bit of what this is about. CryEngine Project Manager will launch it and you're presented with the user interface. Now this is a beta build. This is the very first build here, uh, but it's stable enough to be released. So what we can do is on the right hand side, we have the project browser which you can have as many projects added as, as you want. And it will just scroll down if there's not enough space to show. You can just resize the window if you want as well. The left hand side is the preview panel. So once you have projects added to the manager, you can double click them and view them in the preview panel right here. So here's what we're gonna do. I have two projects, I have a, a company project myself and also the CryEngine default sample FPS project. I'm going to add both of them to this manager to show you exactly how we use this application. So what we're going to do is going to add project and we're at, um, we are prompt with the add a project dialog here. What we're going to do is put the name of our project. This is going to be whatever you want. It's just to identify it here in the project manager. So I'm going to add my game turtle commando. We can uh, add a image here we'll just select this turtle concept which i got on mine for a little placeholder here game dll this is the actual dll of our custom game so turtle commando dot dll this would be whatever you um, have for your custom dll name and then we'll browse to the content folder now this is the whole asset folder kind of like the game folder that's what it's called but i call this the content folder so we're going to browse for our games content folder you can uh, have your complete project in a completely different directory, starting with the uh, EAAS uh, 3.6.5, uh, maybe. I think it's uh, that, that build will allow you to specify your uh, code and your content in a completely separate directory than CryEngine. I do support that as well. But for now, I have my Turtle Commando in the CryEngine folder. So we're going to browse for that. Program files, we'll go to Steam. And we'll go to Steam Apps and Common, CryEngine, and my content folder for Turtle Commando is the content folder here. As you can see, there's the game SDK, which is a sample game folder. So all of my contents in the content. Beautiful. Now I'm going to browse for the code folder. Now this is CryEngine's code folder that has all the interfaces for CryEngine, like CryAction, CryCommon, CryInput, etc. This isn't your code folder. This is CryEngine's code folder. So we'll go over and we'll go to the Steam, Steam Apps, Common, CryEngine, and Code. Beautiful. As you can see, we have the CryEngine, Game SDK, etc. Beautiful. Now we'll add a little description here. Uh, don't worry, for everything you type in here, it can be edited later for your convenience. I'm going to type in an amazing game. Beautiful. And we're going to click Confirm Project. So now we actually have a uh, project added to our project manager here. We can keep adding more if we want to. And we have the Turtle Commando project. You can see a little icon, we can double click and we can preview in the preview window. We got Turtle Commando, uh, our description and any sort of icon that we have. Now we have many options we can do. We can delete it all together. We can edit. So if you click on edit, we are prompted with the add a project window and we can just edit all of our details here and reconfirm and everything will be updated. Now, with CryEngine, you really can only run the game at a time, right? So another thing the project manager does, it allows you to quickly hot swap CryEngine um, active projects. And this is another beautiful feature of here. So at any point in time, I click on activate. And I can now, like I just click, it's active. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click launch. Actually, no, I'm not going to cl click launch yet. I'm going to actually open up the um, sample, CryEngine default sample. So we're going to go add another project. And we're going to call it the CryEngine oops, default FPS sample. And we're going to call it project. There we go. Oops. Project. 
And for the icon, we can go right on desktop. There we go. CryEngine logo. Game DLL. It's the Cry Game SDK dot DLL. Beautiful. The content folder. And we'll browse for Steam. Steam apps, common, CryEngine, and Game SDK. That's our content folder for the game. Code folder. Again, this is the CryEngine's code folder, not your custom game's code folder. Now, this is not just the whole game in terms of content. This is for code as well. In the back end, I set up a lot of uh, uh, information of your project for coding support. So not only will you have your custom game ready to go, your entire coding Visual Studio environment will be already set up and ready to go. And the code folder is there. Beautiful. And we're gonna add a little description. CryEngine's default sample, default FPS sample game and we're going to confirm beautiful now if you remember correctly this was the active project i said it is active but what i'm going to do is i'm just going to click launch on this uh, cryingen default sample and not click the activate we should be pre presented with the uh, dialog telling us that this project is not active and to continue launching we need to set it as the active project now what this means what it means to activate a project it means that it tells cryengine to use your custom game folder your custom game dll and also sets up the visual studio environment to point to all your source code assets that allows you to get into visual studio click build click debug and it will run your game right off the bat so that's what an active project means so what we'll do is we're going to say yes we want to activate the default sample in order to run it we're presented with the launcher window allows us to run the launcher 32-bit 64-bit or run the editor we'll just go launcher 64-bit and it's automatically started right here so we're now we're we're right in here we're running the cryengine default sample and here we go absolutely amazing Let's go ahead and close out and I'll show you how amazing that this tool, this manager, project manager is. What I'll do is I'm going to launch the turtle commando game and say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Set it as active. I'm going to go launch the 64 uh, bit editor. And what do we know? We're launching the turtle commando game. Just like that. I switch between projects by a click of a button. Absolutely amazing. So what we'll do is I'm going to use the keyboard. I'm going to fly around here. Let's see, try to get past this little level here. Beautiful. I'm going to use the uh, Xbox 360 controller. Now I can get those fine grained uh, thruster movements, as you can see, how nice and fluid. The recording software tends to make things run a little bit slower and beautiful but we got project switching done complete click of a button you're in a new brand new project we'll close out of this uh, and we got to cancel out of this the task manager <laughs> that's it pretty much you just add your projects all right, you can just hot swap them by clicking launch on either one. You can activate them, have your Visual Studio environment set up to work with that specific project. Um, you can edit them, you can delete. Now, what we'll do here is I'll show you what happens. We click delete and we can get rid of that. There we go. We just have this. And we're going to close out and launch it back up. So as soon as you close, it remembers your settings and your projects are still ready to go uh, waiting for you. Now, this feature is not implemented at this point, but it is definitely a primary, uh, a primary feature that is planned as soon as possible. I'm going to allow packaging. So you go over to your project, all right? There'll be a little package button. You click on package, you enter a few, little bit of parameters, publishing info, yada, yada. 
and it'll it'll completely package it. You've been 32, you've been 64, your content folder, and ready for release. That way you can have a nice, easy project ready for release. Don't have to fuss around with all the CryEngine folder structure or anything like that. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you understand how beneficial this pro uh, project um, can be for you. And I hope that you download and, and provide a lot of feedback so I can better make this um, software that everybody wants to use. Okay, thank you very much. I hope you enjoy.